Welcome to this video where we're going to use manipulatives to explore triangular numbers. And this video follows on from our exploration of square numbers. Now, just like a square number was defined as the number of counters we need to form a square, the same goes for triangular numbers. That is, if we can form a triangle with that number, then it's a triangular number. Let me show you what I mean. We have one, doesn't look like a triangle at the moment, but three does, as does six, and as does 10. And you might start to see arrangements that you may come across every day. Things like 10 pin bowling um, pins, snooker balls, pool balls, um, we form in the shape of a triangle. So let's unpack that. We could form a triangle around one. So one is a triangular number. We added two to the bottom and we now have a larger triangle that is made up of a total of three counters. We added three to the bottom. Notice the language I'm using as we go. It's starting to let the students know what the pattern is between the numbers. So now we have six counters. It's a triangle number. We put four on the bottom. And we have 10 as a triangular number. And what you would have heard me saying is about the number that we added each time. And we're adding two, adding three, adding four. And so you can get students to predict what the next triangular number would be. Adding five, adding six, and so on. And hopefully, they're going to come up with 15 and 21 as part of their pattern. Now, some students won't like it drawn like this. They perhaps prefer to see it as a right angled triangle and that will work as well. They just get spread out a little bit more there. I hope you've enjoyed this video on triangular numbers and it helps your students complete patterns and identify what the rule is for those patterns. Make sure you check out the square number video if you haven't already and please make sure you subscribe to find out about more of our videos. The cube number video is our next in the series. Thank you.